Hey guys, we are back and we have a special guest who's going to tell you about her entrepreneur journey and all the things she is making an impact here in Dallas, Fort Worth area. And so without further ado, I'm going to bring on Miss Anita. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Hey. Hello, hello, Charlotte. Hello, EJ. It is amazing to be on your show. Thank you for having me first and foremost. Um, so I am a Dallas Fort Worth entrepreneur. I'm an event planner. I'm also a business and career specialist. Um, and it started because when I was little, my family was like, you're so creative. You know, you know how to do all this great stuff. Like, you got to turn that into something. And I was like, no, I want to be a doctor. You know, like the normal stuff everybody say, I'm going to be a doctor, a nurse. And my parents were like, no, like, you got this eye for this and that. Like, you're great. Like, you're really smart. I was skipped in school five times. So my parents was like, oh, no. They was like, I don't know if that. They was like, nope. <laughs> so it, for me, it was just like, there's something there. And so I tapped into my creative side and I realized how much I could help people. And I was like, let me turn this into doing what I really love. And so that's how I became an event planner and a business and career specialist. Mm, awesome. I love so was I already in you? Oh, I couldn't hear you, Charlotte. I said, so it was already in you. Yes. Okay. Well, that's one thing I noticed. It's already in all of us. And I love that you were um, creative enough to pull it out. So what made you go with uh, business? And I mean, it's so many options. What made you go with those? Um, well, the reason I went for event planning is because I love to design. I love to create. Um, I love to just see how I can think of something. And then I turn that into something that actually comes to life and it's there. And I'm like, whoa, I'm like, I picture that in my mind. And I look at this space I've created and it's identical to what I had in my mind. So me loving to design and create that was one thing that made me go into event planning and the reason why i went into business and career specialist is because i watched my parents have businesses and my grandparents have businesses and they always kept me a part of it of learning how to do payroll learning how to manage employees learning how to help people to advance their career and so i learned a lot of that and so i was like you know what i'm gonna help other people and so that's what made me go into those fields Nice. So when you say um, event planning, do you do parties, weddings, or let the people know what type of event planning that you do? So I do corporate events. I do birthday parties. I do weddings, baby showers. Um, I'm also an ordained minister. So I also am a wedding officiant. I marry people as well. Um, <laughs> so I try to create everything in one so that people who have events, they don't have to go so out from my services they can actually just come to me for everything in one um and that would expand soon to have my own event center where people can actually come have their events in my center so mm -hmm. nice is that what make you unique because you have like an all-in-one service or what make you um unique or set you apart from all the other event planners out there because I know things like planning an event, number one, tends to be stressful a lot because there's so much that goes into it. So I try to be that all in one person they can come to where even if I may not offer something, I have a resource I can call, you know, in my Rolodex to say, OK, well, let's collaborate and help my client out so that they don't have to go anywhere and be stressed out. So I try to be that go to person, that all in one person for my customers all the time. OK, I love Greatness. Greatness. I'm trying to think of a question I can ask. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so what do you do? I mean, what do you do in your spare time when you're not doing business? you have any other things that you indulge in or? So when I'm not doing business, I'm normally doing a lot of self-care, a lot of self-love. Um, as me being a survivor of domestic violence, I do a lot of self-care, a lot of self-love, and I also go out and I may volunteer somewhere to help other women who have been through that, um, to kind of navigate their self back out into loving themselves and taking care of themselves. And so that's what I like to do in my spare time is volunteer, help others. Um, and then I also have a nonprofit I work on in my spare time where I'm just like out kind of helping the community and helping others to gain the things they need to, to succeed. Okay. So you're not originally from the DFW area. Is that right? How long have you yes, been in the correct. DFW area? Or, I mean, what, what's your, what's your origin story? So I'm originally from Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, Wisconsin. Um, 
And I was born and raised in Wisconsin, and that's all I knew for so many years um, until one day my kids were like, Mom, what would happen if we traveled the world? And I was like, huh? <laughs> and so they were like, we should travel the world. And so it all happened when I took my kids on a all-around-the-world kind of tour. We went everywhere you can think of to go, every state, and then we went to three countries. Wow. Uh, and we did that twice. And in the midst of that, I was like, oh, I was like, I want to I want to get out of Wisconsin. I'm starting to see some other places. Um, so me being a Wisconsin resident my whole life, I was like, it's a lot more life out there after I went traveling. And so, yeah, it's been an exciting journey, to say the least. <laughs> and how long have you been in this? What, the DFW? Where are you located? You're in Fort Worth? No, nope, oh, you're in Irving. Irvin, okay. Mm -hmm. And how long how long have you been in Dallas? So I have area? been in Irving now for about three weeks. Um, I was in Fort Worth for about nine and a half months. Mm. Um, so I've only been in Fort Worth and Irving so far. And well, I don't know. I don't know, Miss Alita. I know that's where you've been, but I I've seen you all over the internet these last few days. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, I've been a little everywhere. I, see. I, I try to mingle and, and, and get out there and just, you know, pick up on the energies that's there and aligning with the right kind of people. Because that's so important when you are a business owner and you are operating an entrepreneur world. You have to align with the right energies, the right people, find out who your people are. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people forget that one key of how important that is. You talk about the tribe and how important it is. Um, what does that mean for you, having a tribe and having those people to connect with that's like-minded? How important is that? Um, it's very important because it helps to keep me grounded. It helps me to have those intellectual conversations. It, help, it helps me to sit in a room with somebody who may be a little bit more successful than me, but then they can also coach me and help me and guide me to be successful um and then if i'm sitting in a room with somebody who may not be as successful as me for me to just sit there and kind of guide them and give them some gems to help them to be successful i think that's very important to keep yourself networking like that so that you know who to align with who not to and then you can do what you can to make a good impact ej i just heard her drop so many gems that brought me to a little plug in right there for the new website that is up now. Tell them a little bit about it. The website. Hey, if y'all haven't heard, we have officially launched our website and we are inviting all entrepreneurs to be a part of it. It is strategically structured to put the light on entrepreneurs. So if you're curious, we have about 20 more free spots, Charlotte. And uh, it's not about it's not about the money, y'all. But we have uh, free spots for twenty more people, and we're intentional about putting energy into people that are putting energy into themselves. Y'all go check it out. It is the e new. What is it? Oh, the e news hub dot com, y'all. It that, uh, it is. That's it why is I let a, him see it because I knew I was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 structured to be a web a networking website in itself. So if y'all can get out to these networking events like Miss Anita, y'all can get all over the world in, in, in one week like she have this past week, and I didn't see no internet. Y'all just go to our website. It is the E News Hub, and um, the people there are like minded. They are moving forward and. We also share resources and um, you can also share your events. If you have events, go over there, create your free page and share the events. We will feature them on the home page along with the entrepreneurs that's on the home page. So, yay. <laughs> so, I heard you, Anita, and I said, okay, that's a perfect plug because it's so important to be around other people. You don't know who has your answer that you're seeking and who you are an answer to somebody right. else. So, that's so um important to be around that and find that and search for that and that's what i hear you saying and so we have the website up it's up where you, people can just go and they can find somebody who can actually you know um yeah. you know like-minded people you know and miss anita she over there she over there so if y'all <laughs> want to reach her that's one place y'all can catch her if she don't pull up on you first Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I got a lot of questions for you because you are a person who had the courage to go from one place and come to a whole nother place um, and not remain stuck or remain in your environment. So what was that like 
for you that transition was it scary so talk to that person who may be listening who say dang i wish i had the courage like anita talk to that person and tell them what their experience was like for you what i would say is that god did not give us a spirit of fear when you have a vision when you want to succeed you got to take a leap of faith and trust that you are going to be okay. You've got to have that confidence, that strength to say, I can make it. Um, at first, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, I'm going to big old Texas. I ain't never been to Texas. I was like, what, how is that going to work out for me? And I remember how my parents, when I was growing up, they would always sit down and talk to us and say, listen, always believe in yourself and always have courage and strength to just take that leap of faith. Sometimes that may be a million dollar deal you don't walk into. And it's all because you took that step of that leap of faith. So I, all, I will tell anybody, do not operate out of fear. Whatever you have a vision for, a passion for, go for it, take the steps. Sometimes one little step might bump you into this one person that can just be everything you need to help you get to where you're trying to go. So. Just never operate out of fear, operate out of you want to be successful. You are going to do what you need to do to make that happen. I like that. I love mm -hmm. it. I, and you will never know if you don't try. If you don't do it, you'll never know. Yes. And you just be sitting there looking crazy, got this burning desire eating you up on the inside and you, you know, you just remain stuck. So I am, admire you for your courage to step out on faith. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Yeah, for real. And she's like, oh man, she's she's in DFW area. She's out putting out the energies that yield the energy return of everything we know, community, unity, uh, money, and all kind of stuff. So I want to congratulate you as well. Thank and you. we love what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate the energy that you're putting towards this platform and what we got going. She's been showing love since day one, people. And um, you know, we want to be sure to return that. You hear me? <laughs> so Anita, if someone is looking for an event planner or um, a specialist in the field that you do, um, how can they find you? So you can either email me at businessbookingsa at gmail.com. You can call my business line, which is 737-304-2120. You can find me on social media, Wealthy Anita on Instagram. If you have TikTok, Anita's Custom Gifts and More. Um, and, you know, I'm always somewhere. So <laughs> if you're in the DFW area, you can find me, but the best way to contact me is through email and also my business line. Okay, sounds okay. amazing. You guys heard it. So, give us some um, uh, closing words for the entrepreneur that is out here uh, striving, and uh, you know they motivated, but they're not seeing their way through right now. Give us some closing remarks for someone who is out there on that journey. I say keep going. Success is not easy. There are steps. It's a process. Keep your faith. Keep your passion. Keep driving. Keep going. The more you keep going, the better it's going to get. So never give up on your dreams, no matter what is going on around you. Hey. Hey. Awesome. awesome. I love it. Well, thank you for coming on, you guys. Go make sure you follow her. Make sure you stay connected to her as well. Her information will be below. And go to our website. She's over there, her contact information. And um, that's what we do, you guys, bringing entrepreneurs to the forefront so you guys can see what they have and what they offer to the community so you can be great at, at the things that you do, your events, and become knowing who you are. Right? So that's what we do. That's what we bring. Thank you so much for coming on. EJ. Thank you all for having me. Thank you so much. That's what's up. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. We just going to end it right there, y'all. This has been another great interview with another great entrepreneur. People, if y'all would like to have an entrepreneur spotlight, be sure to message us. We want to give you that light, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I don't know. That's all I got. Thank you, Miss Anita. We appreciate Thank you coming you. in. All right. Thank you. All right. Talk to you guys later.